so this is the Evangelion uh, 01 or Eva 01 for short it's from like I think an anime or something I haven't seen the show so this guy is one of the hardest uh, kaiju in the entire game to acquire because of all the insane requirements um, the beginners shouldn't even attempt to get this guy because there's just so much you need to fulfill in order to unlock him. This is definitely like a late game, end game sort of kaiju. So right now we are in knife mode and this guy has a total of four modes. You can see when you go into, uh, when you press the P, Paradigm Swap, there's a total of four modes right here. We are right now in the Assault Paradigm or uh, mode one. and. This is like primarily a melee mode. It's all about knifing. This is attack one, maiming fang. That's what it looks like. It's a little attack. A little swipe with the knife. Now, in uh, mode one, every time you hit someone with any of these attacks, this was uh, attacked to by the low blow. Every time you hit someone with an attack, you'll actually gain some ammo, which is very important for mode two. Uh, the gun mode. So that's attack two. And then we got burst strike, attack three. Jumps up in the air and slice, stabs on the ground. Does a little AoE damage, which is always good. Takes a little longer to recharge than the other two attacks. Okay. And let's go for attack four, reflex trance. Let's see what this does. He kind of just stands there. Okay. Oh, he does a little little knife combo right there so any of these four attacks if you land it on another kaiju you will actually gain ammo and ammo you, you can't really use the ammo in this uh mode right now you need attack um mode two to use the ammo the gun mode let's take a look at the roars battle call kind of just roars it's pretty cool and then we got maniac howl the T-Roar. So that's what that looks like, okay. And of course we got uh, a V ability, dash. Kinda, I think he just dashes forward. Yeah, he just dashes forward in the V ability. And that's really it for um, mode one. Mode two is called Oppression Paradigm, and it's also known as the gun mode. But um, even like, as you can see right now, I have no ammo on me. I could still go into the mode by just clicking on this, and I'll pull out the gun. But you can see these two attacks, these three attacks actually are all sealed because they require zone. Um, it requires bullets or ammo. The only attack I can use is the melee attack called Stockholm, which he kind of just hits you with the gun like that. So this is how you get ammo. Okay, so to get ammo, you gotta keep attacking other players in mode one, which is knife mode. You just gotta keep using any of these attacks. Every time it lands, you get a little bit of ammo. I have 51. You can see the little bars going up a little bit. And then to get ascension, which you need to turn into mode four, uh, other players have to attack you. Uh, let's check out some of the attacks. So the attack one is sliding barrage. It looks pretty cool. The animation is one of the, the best in the game. And uh, two, we got blasting zone. Attack two, you just keep holding it down to use your ammo. And you can see I ran out of uh, ran out of ammo already. And uh, you can reload like that. Yeah, you just hold it down. Blasting zone, you just basically just keep shooting. And then we got stock pummel which is actually a melee attack. This is the only attack you can use when you have no ammo left because it doesn't require the gun. It just You just kind of hit people with it. Number four is burst shot. Because it does like a little jump and backs away. It looks like I don't have enough ammo. I used up all my reloads too, so. The, the reloads in this mode aren't infinite. So like every time you knife someone in mode one, you'll get some ammo and that'll like save up, so. In each clip, there's a max about 60. You just continuously reload. But um, once you run out of ammo, like, if I use this again, I run out of ammo. Once I run out of ammo, there's nothing I can do. The third attack is the only attack I can use. All right, so now we're gonna go into mode three, intervention paradigm. I like to call it the spear mode. 
because when you click on it, it just grabs the spear out like this. And we got four new attacks, very different from the ones in mode one and mode two. We got violent thrust, just kind of drives it forward. The good thing about modes one and three is that it doesn't require any ammo or an ascension. You kind of just like, it just requires charge to use each of the attacks. All right, let's try uh, attack one one more time, violent thrust. Okay, and then we got uh, attack two, divine judgment. What does he do here? It's kind of like a spear combo. It's pretty cool. Let's try that again. All right, and attack three is vo vorpal, vorpal dive. I imagine uh, spear mode is probably pretty good for like melee fighting in general because of the long range you can see. Yeah, that's like a pretty decent sized AOE actually when it falls down. And then we got the attack four immobilizing throw. Let's see what this does. Oh, it just throws the spear. So it's a way. Oh, nice. That's actually a pretty, uh, pretty far ranged attack right there. Go from here all the way to there. This one takes a long time to charge though, so you're not going to be spamming this attack anytime soon. And um, so yeah, it actually does have a ranged attack in spear mode. Let's try it again, just wait for the cooldown to happen. Alright, I think we're good. See how far we can throw. Let's aim it all the way over there. Damn. Okay, it went... I think it. there is a, a range limit, it just kind of stopped in the air. Okay, but anyway, that was uh, mode 3. I think the roars are all the same. Right? Let's check. Yeah, the roars are pretty much the same. And, uh, oh yeah, there's a new V ability now called Evasion. It's like the opposite of the V ability in mode 1. So instead of uh, dashing forward, you evade backwards. It takes a longer uh, while to recharge, though. Let's try it. Yeah, that's all it does. Alright, now let's move on to mode 4. Alright, so for mode 4, this is the strongest mode in for this uh, kaiju right here. It's called Angel Paradigm. And it's a pretty cool transformation animation, as you can see. Look at that. In mode 4, you need a full bar of ascension in order to transform into this. Mode. The other three modes you could just use whenever you want. There's no requirements. Except for maybe mode 2, which requires ammo. But mode 4 requires you need this bar full to do mode 4. Now, every attack in this mode will use some of this ascension. And once you run out of it, you just you can't attack anymore in mode 4. So that kind of sucks. But every time a player attacks you, you'll gain some of this ascension. So it's pretty get easy to get it. Now, uh, let's take a look at the attacks. The attack one is called Primal Ravage. Oh, that's pretty cool. It just like kind of slaps you, it looks like, and then bites, maybe? I'm, not, I'm only going to use each of these attacks once because it costs uh, Ascension. Two is uh, Consumer Light. Pretty cool. Three is Absolute Terror Field. Now, I'm not quite sure what this attack is. It looks like it could be like an AoE. Maybe a shield, but this is what it looks like. Comment below if you know what it does. It doesn't seem like it's doing any damage though. All right, I think four is the attack that this one. This one should be your final attack because it uses all your ascension in the bar. It's uh, let's see what it does. Yeah, it goes into the air like this. Damn, look at that! Look at that damage. It's like a huge AOE. It's damaging everything around it. All the trees and stuff are gone. But it spent my entire ascension bar. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't really do anything. All my attacks are sealed now. So the only thing left to do is just to get out of this mode, uh, fight some players, and then refill this bar so I can transform it again. Uh, we got the roars? I think they're... Oh, the roar animations are actually different in, um, uh, mode 4. They're the same in every other mode, though. This is the... You cannot escape. It's the T bar. But yeah, this is by far the coolest mode of the uh, EVA. So now you just can go back to mode 1. There's like a D transformation animation that plays when you do that. 
anyway that's about it for evangelon 01 this is one of the best kaiju in the game right now in terms of combat and also animation wise it also has probably the most attacks of any kaiju ever in the game it totals at around 16 and has four modes too so that's pretty crazy and a uh, massive shout out to squirtle for lending me his account for this video i do not grind nearly hard enough on kaiju universe to unlock this guy myself and if you do congratulations but not me anyway if you would like to see a pvp sort of battle with uh, eva01 just comment below and uh, until then i'll see you in the next one